Hello, everybody. Welcome to your Talking Fitchburg headlines on this wet and rainy Monday, May 8th, 2023. Yeah, it is kind of wet out there. But don't worry, if this moves out, warmer temperatures move in. Chance of rain for the upcoming weekend, but we're going to hope that's minimal. But yeah, today was wet and dreary and blah. But that's okay. We'll, uh, we'll get through it and again, enjoying some nice temperatures. Just maybe we'll stay uh, and get some uh, normal temperatures moving forward through the month of May. Let's talk about uh, road construction to start things off because it's already dark and dreary out there. Now road construction's gotta happen, right? Uh, Cheryl Drive closure. Uh, Cheryl Drive will be closed uh, starting today uh, between uh, Charleston and uh, Jekyll and uh, will uh, be closed for through traffic from May 8th through June 12th to com be complete some installation of storm water infrastructure. Work will uh, consist of a li large diameter storm sewer installation, making the work zone impassable. The closure dates may vary because of the rain, you got any questions, check in with Ben Schulte from our Fitchburg Public Works Department. His information is on the screen. Have you noticed your neighbor's lawn getting a bit longer? Well, not with the rain it will be. It is uh, no, mo, mo, uh, no mo May, and the lawnmowers uh, uh, remain in the garage uh, uh, and will not have to make an appearance, hopefully, at least in this month. It's likely that uh, they are participating in our pilot program, No Mo May. You can find out more about uh, participating help pollinators during the month of May at our website, fitchwoodwi.gov. You can search No Mo May there for more information, but great information there. Uh, and you can pick up some yard signs as well uh, while supplies last or print them off to let people know that you don't have to mow right now. And this is a pilot program this year, so uh, it has been paused for any mowing in May. Uh, so don't worry, uh, things will get back to normal uh, after May, but if you'd like to participate, uh, we encourage you to do so and learn a little bit about the importance of our pollinators getting going here the month of May. Turning your attention to the Fitchburg Police Department, and we got a shots fired incident uh, that we're looking for information on. Around uh, 1.15 this morning, Fitchburg officers responded to a report of gunfire in the 2000 block of Pike Drive. Multiple callers reported an argument and physical fight that escalated at two gunshots. Spotting officers found five shell casings in the area where the fight had occurred. No injuries were reported and no property damage was discovered. Anyone with information regarding this incident is asked to contact the Fitchburg Police Department. The number is 608-270-4300. Anonymous tips can be made to Madison Area Crime Stoppers by calling 608-266-6014 or via p3tips.com. Tipsters may be eligible for cash reward. Turning our attention to a clothing exchange and book giveaway. This is happening over at Leopold Elementary School. And uh, during this week, you can drop off uh, any of these types of materials uh, at Leopold Elementary School. Uh, the drop-off uh, is now through the 12th. Donations of clothing size infant to teen can be brought to the school during the week of May 8th through the 12th or brought to the cafeteria on Saturday, May 13th between 9 a.m. and 11 a.m. Select clothing and books. Uh, Leopold Community, uh, Community School will be holding a clothing exchange and book giveaway at Trio Fest on Saturday, May 13th from 11 to 3.30 p.m. All Leopold families are welcome to come and choose clothing and books. The Trio Fest, by the way, is Saturday, May 11th, 11 to 2 p.m. And that's uh, right there near the elementary school. If you got any uh, other, again, donations, please drop those off during the normal business hours. Go to the front office, let them buzz you in. There's a couple of appreciation weeks going on. First, we'll start with those teachers and educators. We want to thank you all. Uh, this uh, coming in uh, from our friends of the uh, Department of Instruction, uh, sharing this information, uh, or public instruction, that is, uh, saying thank you to all Wisconsin teachers who are dedicate their time, resources, and energy to our kids and our state's future. We're lucky to have you take the time out during the week to tell your teachers nearest and dearest to you how much they mean to you. And on the same lines, it's National Nurses Week kicked off uh, earlier this weekend. Uh, it says many thanks uh, to the nurses who serve on our teams throughout the agency for all our work. This is coming in from uh, Wisconsin uh, Public of Health and uh, to the clinics, the home visits. To nurses across, uh, you have bared a lot and we appreciate you. Have a great day.